What is up guys, it's me Vlad and today I'm going to show you guys how to install custom maps in Fall Guys, play on custom maps and even build your own custom maps. Which isn't even that hard, uh, you won't have to learn any programming languages or anything like that, but, but, uh, this is all done through Fall Factory. If you don't know what Fall Factory is, uh, Caboose has made a video playing on a Fall Factory right here and I'm pretty sure he did this before too or I'm pretty sure uh, some other YouTuber did it too before but I haven't found any tutorials on YouTube on how to basically do this and so I decided to go out of my way and research done some research on this uh, to make this video for you guys so if you appreciate it, if everything works, don't forget to subscribe. At the end of the video, I'm going to remind you again. And uh, yep. So let's start. Let's start. I don't want to make this intro uh, long enough, you know, so you click off the video. So pretty much what you have to do is uh, on this video, I'm going to show, I'm going to click on this video and uh, show you guys as an example. So under this video you're watching right now, You'll see there's my Discord uh, link, which you have to click on. And if you don't have Discord, sadly, you'll need to make it. I don't know, make an account. It's the, it's really easy. You don't have to do much, uh, really. But you just click on the link. It should open up the Discord app you have. So for me, it's uh, my Discord app right here. And uh, you should just uh, join my Discord. The, it's named that Vlad. We got 7,000 members, as you could see. All members, not all of them, but most members are active. You can find some people to play with, complete the idle games challenges with. And uh, as you could see, many people are looking for people to play idle games challenges with right now. So if you need to complete them, don't forget to, you know, complete them because they're going to be gone soon and many people are looking for help and uh, even providing help but that's not the point I was making so what you have to do here is scroll down up to the fall factory section right here so in the fall factory section what you have to do is follow these direction right here but I'm just going to go skim through them and show you guys basically what you have to do so uh, you don't have to read all of this stuff uh, but if you want, you can read uh, this to, uh, to be more cl clarified, you know, on, on what you have to do. I'm kind of stumbling right now. Sorry for that. So, what you have to do is click on this link right here. It will open up uh, my Twitch, basically, account right here. Oh my god, there's my stream. Uh, so, this is my Twitch account. And... Uh, what you have to do next is you have to log in into your own Twitch account or create one. So over here on the top right, you probably cannot see it. You will see a uh, login or create an account, basically button. So you create an account. It's pretty easy. You know, Twitch is uh, pretty self-explanatory, honestly. So if you never use Twitch, it's pretty much a streaming platform where people stream, watch streams and stuff like that. So, pretty much, after that, you just uh, click follow on, there should be next to my name, there should be a follow button. Uh, if you cannot click on the link, you can just search up Cool Dude Vlad and you'll find my channel. Okay, so, next, what you do, this is really important, you have to click on the chat, uh, basically, button right here. So, uh, what you have to do, click on the chat button right here. And uh, next, as you can see, this is the chat, people are like... I'm looking for mod menu stuff like that here because uh, not only I make Fall Guys videos, I also make uh, Girl Attack videos, and pretty much uh, these are this is a required step for those videos too. But I just uh, decided to make it uh, into this basically video, whatever. So next, what you have to do if you don't see chat under my webcam, I'll uh, close it right now. As you can see, there should be this button right here. You it uh, could be there you see expand if you don't if you don't see the chat if you see the chat it's all right you don't have to do this so after this what you have to do is type in exclamation mark mo not not mod menu exclamation mark uh fall factory i'm just used to typing in exclamation mark group mod menu because that's for the mod menu i have made like quite a few tutorials on those and grill attack but so 
what you have to do exclamation mark fall factory like this uh, it's pretty much in my discord so if you want you could uh, just uh, go and uh, copy and paste it right here so after this uh, what you want to do it's over here if you need to copy and paste it uh, after this what you have to do is so uh, press enter and uh, my bot will actually show you guys this message right here with the discord link that you'll need so i'm going to blur it out so people don't cheat you know you still have to follow my twitch channel you know why do this i just basically you know uh don't want to risk my discord first of all so it doesn't get into any legal issues if something happens for some reason uh, by the way i'm not uh, promoting this uh, i'm not the creator of this uh, mod or app or whatever and uh, i am not uh, promoting or condoning use of this at all so so there won't be any legal issues put on me you know uh, but what you want to do is uh, click on this link over here just click on it and uh, the app will be launched with the fall factory discord right here so pretty much you'll join it and once you join it what you want to do is go to releases right here i'm pretty sure yeah in the releases tab let me actually close this right here so in the releases tab right here you will go up a bit right here and you'll see this release right here uh, so it says this version uh, does not use an installer it's uh, literally an archive of a game and you don't need to own a game uh, for it to work because basically this only worked if you had a game on steam but right now they have made like a custom game uh, with fall guys textures uh, and uh, yeah and made an archive of it so what you want to click is this link right here so click on it after this it's going to load it up right here and what you want to do uh, is i already downloaded it but there will be a uh, basically a button right here to download it so you click on download it can take quite a few minutes to download and uh yeah so basically you just uh, click download right here it will have a progress bar don't worry it's not a virus or anything like that it's uh, 1.5 gigabytes so you think a virus is that big no uh usually viruses aren't that big and uh yeah i downloaded it myself as you could see right here so next what you want to do is uh, you want to actually look up an application called WinRAR. This is really important. Just uh, look up WinRAR. 7-Zip will work too if you don't have this. Basically, it's a free application that you can get to um, open up zip files. So you just click download WinRAR right here. And uh, let me actually click on this. As, as you can see, uh, you don't have to buy it. It's completely free. Download WinRAR. As you can see, it's downloading right here and what you'll want to do yeah it just uh, shows you the steps you have to do to open it uh, so you just want to follow these steps just to click on this then uh, install install yep and uh, just click ok ok and done so if you don't want to use this you can use uh, 7-zip but i'm going to use WinRAR because that's what i have 7-zip is a free application too right here so if you don't have that basically use this okay next what you want to do is uh, you want to actually delete the game from epic game store or wherever you have the game on so open up epic games launcher um uh, i'll wait a few seconds until it launches so uh, this really won't i'm pretty sure this won't work if you have the game installed on epic game store but the game is like seven gigabytes you can download it after this if you want it's just so there won't be any interference so what you want to do is uh, look up fall guys right here or just find it in your library you want to right click or not right click left click on these three dots and there will be uninstall and you just click ok and i'm going to show you how it's done with fortnite i'm not going to uninstall it though i'm just going to show what it looks like 
So as you can see, uninstall, you just uninstall it, and as you can see, I have 58 gigabytes, or no, 58 days playing in Fortnite. Yep, yep, that's only on PC. I have like played way more on my PS4. I have like 2,000 hours in Fortnite or something like that. I don't know, maybe more. Uh, but that's it. So you uninstall it. This is a really important step. After you uninstall the game, what you have to do next is uh, pretty much just go to your downloads folder uh, or whatever folder the file is installed in. Uh, okay, so I'm going to open up my downloads folder right here. As you could see, it's over here. I'm going to delete with the RAR because I don't need it. Okay, so next what you want to do is right click on your desktop and click on you or just uh, hold your cursor right here and create a folder. So it's way easier to manage this. So you create a folder called uh, Fall Factory. I would recommend uh, calling it that Fall Factory. It doesn't really matter, but uh, yep. Just create a folder, put it somewhere on your desktop. Next, what you want to do is right click on your Fall Factory right here and click on extract files so over here you see extract files uh, this will have like uh, don't open it with WinRAR just uh, click uh, on extract files and um, over here you'll see your desktop pretty much and uh, what you will want to do is on your desktop you'll want to locate fall factory folder if you don't see it you can probably just open the folder uh, select all the files and just drag them uh, to the Fall Factory folder you have. But I'm just going to click on this Fall Factory right here. Just follow the steps I do if you can. And uh, click OK. For the password, it will be Fall Factory. OK, just click OK and it's going to extract the files what it does it's basically getting the files from zip file and uh, putting them in this folder right here on your desktop so we just have to wait a bit um and uh by the way we just made a folder so it won't be all over your desktop and it will be neat and organized in one place so after this uh what you want to do is uh just double click on fall factory right here and uh, pretty much you have everything done so next what you'll want to do is you will want to click on fall fa double click on fall factory like application right here just double click on this and it will start this basically console right here so we have to wait a bit it will probably prompt you with like, uh, do you want to allow it connecting to your public network or something like that? I just clicked no, but it doesn't matter. Okay, this is pretty loud. As you can see, this is an older version of Fall Guys, pretty much, but it has Fall Factory in it. And right now, I'm going to show you guys how to actually uh, make ma make maps, download maps, do stuff like that, and play maps. So to play a map, it's pretty easy. Just click on play. Oh my god, it uh, should have prompted you with something, but uh, my mouse double clicked and I got into a game. Right away you get into a game, as you can see, this is like uh, the squid game thingy, I would played it on it for a bit. It's pretty cool, although I'm trash. Um, but yeah, as you, as you could see, these are all of different levels. So by default, it has 31 levels already installed right here. Uh, some of them are usual, some of them are different. For example, font level, don't trust the end, the uh, low oil. Uh, for example, let's click on this. It will load it up, as you can see, font factory. Yep. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know what it does, but it's just the level. Uh, some of the levels are cool. Some of the levels are like this. Um, but um, yep. To exit it, you can click escape, click exit, and yes. So, uh, for example, I will show you a cool level I found. Um, I'm not sure what it was. 
I'm pretty sure it was this one or something like that. But some levels are just uh, speedrunning maps. You can see this one is. Uh, and uh, the physics is kind of weird. I feel like it's a bit different from re regular Fall Guys. It has haptics too. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it has haptics. So the vibrations work on the controller and you can play on the controller. It has a full controller support uh, and everything. Okay, and next, uh, let me actually show you settings. If you want Fall Guys settings, the, these are the Fall Guys settings right here. You can uh, just adjust audio, stuff like that. Okay, uh, these are the f f factory, you see the, the Fall Factory thingies. You can set a speed running mode, which uh, sets a speed running thingy, like a timer. Then uh, lean mode, I don't know what this does. Uh, yep. Uh, okay, but next, uh, what you can do is actually click on make. And you can actually make pretty much everything here. You can place uh, boxes, stuff like that. You can use your scroll, scroll wheel uh, to adjust the height. I don't think you can rotation. Uh, yeah, you can adjust rotation, color. Um, the color kind of doesn't work for it. Uh, oh, it works as you could see. Then you have uh, the core. Yeah, you can change uh, the core. Yep, there isn't much here though. Okay, next do we have some objects. Uh, th these are the saves. Uh, then there are lily pads, there, well, I don't know what this is. Yeah, you can see it. These are the hexa pl platforms which work like hexa platforms. Then we have uh, these spinning thingies. Uh, triggers, there's nothing really here. Gizmos, nothing really here. But uh, you can make your own stuff. Um... Uh, there is more stuff probably to it. You can play your own level. You can see right here. Oh my god. How do I exit? But uh, yeah, you can make your own maps. You can save them. As you can see, save here, load level here. Um, and uh, actually, pretty much, yeah. So, to load a level, uh, you can... Wait a second. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me quit the game. Uh, they're in the Fall Factory Discord. Let me actually wait a bit until it quits. Yeah, in the Fall Factory Discord, we go to it. Uh, their level sharing tab. There is a level sharing tab where people post their own levels. Here, as you can see, you can download whatever level you want. Uh, for example, Future Fun. Or don't trust the levels that are like one megabyte though, over one megabyte, because those can be viruses. And uh, before you do anything with the f levels, actually, I'm not sure. Uh, FFL, uh, I don't think FFL can be a virus. I don't know. I'm not sure though. But for example, this guy shared this level. He showed a screenshot. I'm going to download his level. Then I can check it through virus total. So it's not a virus or anything like that. So confirm upload. Let me wait a second until this loads. By the way, this is educational purposes only and entertainment play purposes only. I don't promote any of this stuff, you know, so I don't get any illegal trouble again and again, you know. Yeah, as you can see, uh, basically virus total, if you don't know what it is, you can put in any file, you can put in even a link and uh, it will check it for viruses with like 60 different uh, antiviruses. As you can see, this is an a virus or anything like that. So next, what you can do, you can go to File Factory right here, and you can put in a level right here. So you can drag and drop this level over here. So just drag and drop it um, over here. Yep, you could see. Uh, or you could load it uh, through the map loader, which I showed previously. So. Uh, there was a map, a uh, load a map, basically, button. But uh, let me actually show you guys. So levels, let me go back to Fall Factory, let's play it. Uh-huh. Okay, let's wait a bit, let's wait a bit. By the way, I'm pretty sure you have to delete the game. Uh, this won't really work if you don't delete the game, because it gave me an error. 
uh, once I tried opening the folder without uh, or with the game. Okay. Uh, so next uh, we have to do play, then go to the last uh, section right here, and we should see our own yeah level right here. You see, uh, future fun. I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. Yeah. So let's play it. Let's see how it goes. Uh, yep, as you can see, works. Everything works. And we got the platforms right here. And uh, the best part about this is that once uh, the Fall Guys basically uh, mode, creative mode will come out. Oh my god, this guy forgot to make the respawn thingy. Okay, we're just gonna exit. Let's try again. Oh, we cannot click back. Whatever, let's try a different level. Neon Tower. Tower. Basically, the best part about this is that you don't have any restrictions uh, besides the models you, you can use. Because, for example, in the creative mode that the uh, Fall Guys will have uh, from the trailer that it looked, uh, you will have a like a restriction on how many uh, thingies, how many basically stuff you can put, or oh my god. How many megabytes uh, or storage you can use per level and probably it's because you will be able to basically use and play the level with different people you cannot do this uh, basically right at least as of right now you cannot do this uh, or you cannot play this with uh, your friends or other people but uh, i'm pretty sure you will be able to do this uh, or using creative mode and fall guys once it comes out i'm pretty sure you'll be able to play with different people although that's not confirmed though it can be really different who knows but uh, i'm assuming that uh, that will be the case but uh, but uh, basically what i'm saying is that there's like a thousand megabytes limit or something like that uh, of uh, how many builds you can use but on this there is no limit whatsoever that uh, you can basically you can create anything you want so this will be relevant even once the creative mode comes out so that's pretty cool in my opinion and uh yeah guys uh if i actually helped you and this worked don't forget to comment down below because uh, many people may think that i'm like providing some kind of a virus a scam or something like that which i'm not clearly doing as you can see i installed everything on your eyes besides the obviously the file itself because it takes like uh like it took me 10 minutes to download the the file itself uh, but uh, yeah in my opinion this is a great way uh, to like if you're bored of fall guys this is a great way to experiment play something new and yes i'm pretty sure uh, these things won't touch me if i'm here yep uh, and uh, yeah guys if you're bored you could do this oh my god oh I thought that wait this checkpoint didn't work before I probably didn't hit it but yeah I may make uh, more videos about this like uh, uh, maybe trying out different levels if you guys enjoy this maybe beat some levels speed run them maybe actually I mean if you guys request I may make a, a uh, section of uh, my own like levels on discord so you can put on put in your own levels basically there uh your own files of levels you know i'm going to more moderate it so there won't be any viruses or stuff like that and uh yeah pretty much uh let me know in the comments if you think that's a great idea but this is pretty much it. I just decided to make this tutorial because I saw many people having problems with installing Fall Factory yourself. You know, I had some problems while installing this at first, but I resolved all of them. And if you have any problems, let me know in my Discord. I'm going to respond and happily help uh, everyone. You know, I'm active there 24-7. Maybe once the school starts, I'm going to be non-active uh, for a bit. Well, I'm in school uh, but yeah this is pretty much the end of the video don't forget to subscribe because I post uh, Fall Guys uh, newest news leaks and uh, pretty much everything about Fall Guys that you can think of that other people don't really post you know uh, or 
I'm just posting everything faster, you know, I'm just better like that. Uh, plus you go boost, but if you watch the video until then our daily end of the video phrase that you can type in the comments And I'll respond to you with a secret phrase and like your comment will be Fall factory is sick. So comment down below fall factory sick if you watch the video until then and Someone followed me on twitch. So when you follow me on twitch You actually have a chance to appear in the video because once I'm recording a video I have alerts set up to my twitch basically followers and actually i may stream on twitch soon we'll see we'll see we'll see how it goes uh but currently i just uh don't really have uh that much you know energy to do twitch youtube and everything at the same time and school starts i'm going to have a lot of troubles uh, with probably uh, making a lot of videos and streaming at the same time so we'll, we'll see how that goes because i'm going to be doing college uh like class i have two college classes while i'm going to be doing high school at the same time uh, it's gonna be pretty tough you know and they're recording videos every single day if you don't know i post every day but yeah that's pretty much it thank you for watching the video um, i don't want to extend the video longer than it should be uh but yeah thank you for watching the video if i helped you don't forget to subscribe and uh, comment down below so other people know that this works. And if you have any problems, ask me in comments, ask me in Discord. I like all of the comments. I respond to all of them because if you guys take time to comment, I think uh, it's fair enough for me to read all of them and uh, actually like them and respond to them. Because if you don't know, uh, YouTube algorithm basically thinks that when you basically comment, uh, the video is uh, interesting, so it recommends it to more people. That's basically the gist of uh, YouTube recommendations. And uh, it's the same with likes, too. Uh, but this is pretty much the end. Thank you for watching the video. I'm going to head out. And, uh, yep. If you need any help, ask in my Discord. And, um, yeah. See you later, guys. And, by the way, shout out to Pancake. I'm pretty sure Pancake made this, made this mod. And uh, shout out to Fall Guys or Fall Factory Discord. And, by the way, I'm not associated with, with them or anything like that. So, yeah. Uh, see you later, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, also, I forgot to say, if you want to install the regular Fall Guys, just delete the folder you made and uh, pretty much install Fall Guys. Uh, so, there won't be any interference uh, with regular file guys files but yeah that's pretty much it thank you for watching the video have a great day see you later guys bye bye also don't forget to follow my twitter for more file guys leaks and news and stuff like that